just need to change my name, trust me, it's not the point. I just feel like I don't deserve what's happening. She actually didn't like him, and I know Perry likes her because we've been outside together a couple of times. Yeah. When I went by, I pulled my hair. In the real world, I'm gonna slap that person. You guys, last night we had content from the pool party to after the pool party. Content that stirred up conversations here and there. Content that got me shocked, and I was just like, what's going on in this house so let me give you guys all the tea i feel like this content that we were, were dished out yesterday would give bet or give rise to the new phase of basketballs that we'll be having in the house because right now we're going through the calm before the storm and um, before the storm so let's just talk about everything let me give you guys all the details welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here please do subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified each time i post a brand new video and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up so as usual i like to go according to how the events happen so i'm going to begin with the pool party for the pool party it was giving body it was giving vibes it was giving hotness the ladies were looking so hot even the guys like um, broad shoulder everywhere chiseled abs like they were just giving hotness you guys and then they did not give them their normal water guns again this time around so they did not really play with water guns there was not a lot of playing going on so for prince he really enjoyed himself you guys he was just rocking babes here and there he rocked Messi, rocked alex rocked angel like he really had fun he really enjoyed himself and is that rocking that caused problem after the party the dance i had with cc it was almost like he was trying to be very very you know careful and mindful of how he was dancing but yeah he danced with i would say all the ladies or pretty much most of the ladies and therefore mashallah his dance was just so funny he was having the time of his life but in a fun way in a funny way he's dance steps were just killing me i'm like is it going to take over from kid wire with funny dance steps and then we also had alex she seemed like she really enjoyed herself she also had fun she now has new dance partners prince has joined them there's cross there's new so she seemed like she really enjoyed herself and then the latest ship in town the select ship sissy and alex they also danced together and then you know they were just and dancing um, with each other as for angel and soma they were matching outfits red on red at some point they were now kissing kayode did not even allow this kissing to marinate and he moved the camera i was just like kayode you are such a hater of beautiful things why did you move the camera from there we're trying to see something right so they kissed and do you know <laughs> do you know do you guys know how when they were kissing they showed the camera from a different angle and though he was sitting there and it just looked like she was like okay you guys are not about to make me miss my band, my band that is not here because she um, looked away at some point. And then for Lucy and Perry, she was just dancing with him. There was only a time where she even pulled him to the side to, um, for them to dance together. They, they, they pretty much danced um, together for a good time. And I'm trying to understand what's going on there. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but when I'm done with my research, I'm going to submit the tests, the results to you guys. But I'm just observing them. Cross and Kim also vibed together for a short time, actually. They did not really dance together so much. That was Cross the Bus. And Cross the Bus um, likes to mingle and move around. And then for White Money, he was just in his corner, his very own corner, where he would just be grilling chicken and making somebody hungry. So that's what he did for, like, throughout the party, that's what he was doing. And we had Adekunle and Venita. Yes, this is where I wanted to arrive at. For Adekunle and Venita, they were just in their own corner. And I was like, okay, normal, normal dance and everything. At a, at a point, it was jiggling things. You guys, do you know that a very hot kissing session happened between Adekunle and Venita where he grabbed, hey, he grabbed something there. Yeah. And it was online that it was posted because the camera did not capture it. The camera that we saw did not capture it. So they posted it on the Big Brother page, the official Big Brother page. And I was just like, Adekule, oh, hey, Adekule has point to, I could not believe my eyes. I cannot believe my eyes. It's the grabbing that really shocked me. And I was like, yo, so people have been hiding to do things in this house and we'll be feeling like okay it's just small small kisses here and there i didn't expect that that's what i was going to see to be very honest but now i'm going to keep my eyes on them big brother i'll be showing us things in that house because i want i want you kind of day 
come out let's fight woman to man right that's it for the pool party every other thing was just cool they had normal vibe um they played with the ball at some point a lot of them were willing to have fun so we had the party the ground i've been at the garden was full that's the fullest i've ever seen that garden right so it was nice to see them all vibe so let's now move on to the after party for the after party some conversations we had um speaking of the one doyin and sissy's conversation they started from the party to even have this conversation and obviously we could not hear because they don't usually wear their microphones so but as at the time the camera um showed them in the room sissy was just saying that Elevae is playing a game that from what she has seen since these new people came into the house that she has noticed that Elevae is playing Elevae Lebaye is playing a game and she's playing a very dirty game. I don't care about that one. Oh, so you were closer than me and Jealous Man. But one thing I've seen, at least since you came, it is something that I care. And that game is dirty. Even for time you say something that did happen in the midst of people, the certain behavior I see that makes me think it. Yeah. Then they now went on to say that Lebaye is just playing for the camera. Don't you now say that, you know, that is even, that's okay because it's allowed for somebody to play for the camera. Sissy now said that before she goes off on somebody, if you see that she changes it for somebody or goes off on anybody, just know that it's not really like a one-time situation. Then it was now saying that she, for her, she just feels like she doesn't deserve what's happened. I mean, what is happening to her. Sissy now told her that um, she should speak up about it. She said, you know, she doesn't want to. It's like you're playing for camera. To be honest, I don't care if she didn't play camera. Everybody has the right to play. Yeah. Okay. But that's one thing that I found. That's why I got very upset. Any time you see me change for anybody, trust me, it's not once. I just feel like I don't see what's happening. So Doyin was now saying that she doesn't feel like she owes anybody any explanation that normally she leaves everything to God and the person's conscience and that every time that she has gone out of her way to do something for somebody they always feel like there's a motive behind it right um Sissy now said that uh, right now there's somebody that I haven't told her in the house that this her niceness the way she has been is a strategy that they don't know how difficult it is for her to be this way that what happened with Ilebae at the party that if it was normal her on a normal day outside of the house that she would have slapped the person. I just like something I always thought doing was my strategy. The being friendly. I'm like, do you know how much it takes for me to be that person? Like, oh, well, like now if I pull my hair. In the real world, I'm going to slap that person. You saw me now. Guys saw me the same thing. Cross saw me the same thing. You know, trying to help. And then you, because you think you are stupid, you pulled my hair back. So Sissy is saying that Lebae pulled her hair at the party. And then she now went on to say that it's not even the pulling of the hair that really got her angry. That it's the way Lebae responded when she called her out for doing that that she kind of just dismissed it right and at the pool party i actually saw a time where sissy's face was like really really squeezed and i was like ah, what's happening so i guess maybe that's around the time this whole thing happened i think maybe she'll just be playful yeah but when i said it, it was like why are you angry now hmm. I promise that was not going to be upset, not even the pulling of her. So Doyin was now saying that she has felt every emotion that she needs to feel. That at this point, she doesn't care anymore. She cares. And then she now told Sissy that um, this has been her story all, like, all through her life. That this has been her story being too good to be true. That when Sissy goes outside, she's going to ex experience her personally and she'll understand what she's saying. And Sissy now told her that it's normal for people that are real and vocal to get that. At this point, I've thought about it. I've been sad. I've been happy. I felt every emotion was by this point, I'm just like, mm -hmm. the thing is, I've always been too good to be true. This is the story of my life. Maybe it will take us going outside the house and you knowing me outside the house to understand the type of person. Anybody who's real, dude, always get it. So later on is when the keys between Cross and Lebaye happened and it happened in the living room where everybody was just watching them and the kids were so aggressive as if they wanted to bite off something from somebody's lips or what I don't even know Seb. So the kids happened there and um, you know everybody yeah 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 and then Mason now said that Kimopra should come and see. So later on, they showed where Prince was passing and Elebae was being all touchy with Cross. And then Cross now told her that she, you know, that this thing you are doing is not going to help your matter. She now said she doesn't care that if someone likes you, that they would regard you as a treasure that they need to guide. <laughs> so, okay. And then she now spoke about being taken for granted. Um, basically, being taken for granted, she now referred to Prince dancing with all the ladies um, at the party. And that um, she has decided that she's going to play the game, regardless of the fact that she cares about Prince, she's still just going to play the game. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, this is where between I think somebody and personal taking for content. There might be fact that when I have a nigga in this house, he starts in all the girls. I study him tonight. Not as much as I care about him. Let me just begin. So this started up a conversation in the room. Um, Sissy was just just seeing some of the housemates in the room about what just happened. First of all, she said that Cross had been following Kim all through the day, following her around all day, and then um, is now locking lips with Ilebaye. She now said that Kim um, had Kim now started carrying Prince up and down as a form of support based on what had just happened. And then Alex was now saying that ah, Prince should know what he's doing or what he's getting himself into. And this time, get so Ike was now saying that um, Kim is somebody that he knows from the outside and she doesn't really care like that. And Sissy said it's a lie that she really felt the kiss. Ike now said that maybe she might play that for the game, but normally he knows that, that she doesn't really care like that. Sissy now said that maybe it's not jealousy that she may have felt, but she definitely felt something. Did you not see them scared? Well, well, that one, my friend, she knows it's like that. Like, she feel like, maybe not jealous. Like, game-wise, game maybe, but she not real life. She ran and then she called me, let's see, and us, they was, I could laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex was now saying that after Leba will come and telling her how she likes Prince, that she's this, he's nice, he's calm and everything. And Ike now said that their beds of fed that as Leba and Cross, that both of them are the same. I really like Prince. The way he's calm. I like you Leba. I like how he smiles. Oh my god, the way he is. So Sissy now said that this thing that Leba is doing with Cross, she's going to get burnt, that Kim has Cross in her palm. And she now went back to reiterating that, in fact, Kim felt that kiss, that there's something that happened between them that made her feel that type of way. So she was talking about a bucket showering situation. I didn't fully get what she was saying, but I know she was talking about buckets that Kim came to ask, ask for the bucket and Cross told her that it's for Sissy. And according to Sissy, Kim's face just changed completely she said that and i may not be jealous but maybe kim came with the mindset that you know she's going to be the hot babe in the house and all of that so for ak he just kept saying that he's not seeing it he's not seeing what they are seeing that he sure ought to be for the game if i thought anything is there um alex now said that she thought that if it's for the game that it would have been parrot in the picture sissy now made a statement that um Pere is somebody that is easy for him, it's easy for a lady not to really like him. What are you seeing? <laughs> <laughs> I think for Kim, maybe game wise, I think that's mm -hmm. it. I'm not saying maybe she'll develop feelings for Cross, I don't think so. I don't think game wise, it was Pere. You see, it is for woman not to do like that way. Maybe not play it. So Alex now brought up Lucy in the conversation. Oh my, talk, Kari. Let's <laughs> let's talk. So Alex now spoke about Lucy. She was saying that when um, Lucy came in, she kind of like just went up, went to Perez's side. She spoke about the fact that Lucy wanted to sleep on Perez's bed, right? And that she's just watching them. That Perez, that is somebody that is going to deal with them. Even Lucy, when they came, listen, she said, she said, I'm taking Perez's bed. I said, you hey, this boy, you know, man, I just said, I'm very good. This is you know, very good. This boy, I think this boy, this boy that we deal with people. Okay, shall be good. I was just watching. And then there was, also, there was also a conversation that was happening in the kitchen between Venita, Cross, Shei. So, White Money, <laughs> White Money just entered and called um, Cross content creator. It was very funny to see Sha. So, she just called him content creator and like, gave him a thumbs up. Content creator. <laughs> What is your nickname? <laughs> and um, for that conversation that they were having in the kitchen, Venita was talking to Cross about the fact that if she was Kim, she would um, be disappointed, right? And then they now referred to Ilebae as a mouse. Cross now said that he can discard the mouse anytime. That that's not even a problem. That that's not his problem. That he can discard the mouse at any time. And Venita now said that there's no need because Kim is already aware of what happened. I don't know how to explain. See the way you're playing with this mouse. Oh, 
I've seen it. I've seen it. So you see, you understand what I'm saying? I could discharge and disregard this mouse in a second. That's not a problem. I could do that in a heartbeat, and I'm very comfortable doing that. Like that now. So Cross is Lebaye's dog, and Lebaye is Cross's mouse. All right. So um, the conversation was it was quite long, but they were still just talking about the same thing. Cross was trying to see things from Venita's angle, so he now said that. He's wrong for what he did and then he now he now um talked about perry and kim liking each other he said that he feels like kim likes perry and he already knows that perry likes kim because they they've had times where they hung out together so he knows that perry likes kim i guess i'm pretty much from because we had a conversation yeah just i could feel it in my soul i could feel it in my guts i could feel it everywhere that she actually didn't like him and i know perry likes her because we've been outside together a couple of times it's okay, it's alright, it's all them liking one babe. History on repeat. It looks like there's more tension in that friendship than we thought. But we're just going to keep watching. I think that Perry has given way for Cross Sha, but with this whole thing that is happening, maybe Kim might now start um, you know, going towards Perry. In fact, I told you guys that this whole thing that happened today would lead to a lot more in future, right? So um before this I even forgot the task that they did. So they did their money point task and then Perry won. They gave him the guard of honor. Congratulations. It was a dice game that they played, right? So it was just roll dice, roll dice, count, roll dice, count. So Perry had the best time and it was fun. The game was fun because um, for everybody that got a good time, they were really cheering them up, really happy for them. So it was... week is, has just been good energy vibes and everything it's actually um quite nice to see so at the end of the day Perry won angel came second um prince came third Perry got three gold co five go gold coins um angel got two gold coins and prince got one gold coin i don't know what the gold coins are for now right now but later on we'll find out so this is where i end this video let me know what you think about everything that happened thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in the next one bye i love you